We are currently located less than 15 kilometers from uh, the old town of Dubrovnik, but if we go outside, uh, we would be able to see it. At this point, we are located uh, in a cave called Shipun. It's a very old cave and interesting uh, throughout the history of re this region, uh, especially because of a legend that connects not only Savtet with the uh, region of uh, Zupa Dubrovačka, but also this region to other parts of Europe and other parts of the Mediterranean as well. Uh, so this cave is uh, located on a peninsula called uh, Rat. It is 32 meter meters deep and once was the home of a very vicious dragon called Boaz. This dragon was killing the, not only the local uh, cattle, but the shepherds as well. So a saint that was born in the third century in uh, Palestine came to this region uh, to save the locals of this vicious monster. Uh, his name was Hilarius and also it's important that we can connect his name to uh, the locals that lived on this region during that period and those were the ancient uh, Illyrius. Uh, the dragon was slaughtered by Saint Hilarius in this cave but he didn't leave it here. He brought it with him to uh, this nearby bay of Zup, today Zupa Dubrovačka and burn it on a place where today the church of St. Hilarius in Mini is located. Uh, that's a medieval church that still today stands and uh, people go there uh, to worship the patron saint of the region and that, that patron saint is even today St. Hilarius which was very special to the locals not only for slaughtering the dragon but also for saving the region from a great let's call it tsunami that was created after an earthquake in the 4th century uh, after Christ as well. Well this cave is pretty cool. We haven't been in something like this yet. So this is where the, this is where the dragon lived in here? This is where the dragon lived. Uh, some say it was like a snake looking monster, but we consider it a dragon. So when somebody says what was Buzz, he was basically a dragon. Oh. Well, can we also, like as tourists, you can come here and explore through it and dragon free, of course. <laughs> dragon free, uh, snake free. <laughs> Maybe there are some other, other small little creatures We've seen that, a few, that yeah. live today here <laughs> and consider that this their home but it's basically closed throughout the year. It is organized, uh, there is a gate and there is a gatekeeper so mm -hmm. if somebody wants to come here and visit this ancient place uh, it has to be through an organized tool. Uh -huh. well, so there great. is the lake down there this way? Yeah, there is, there is a small uh, channel that was created so the cave can be explored more easily and on the other side we have a small lake uh, in the depth of uh, 32 meters. It's pretty cool. Well, you never know, maybe there's someone living in here sure. and we're unaware, we'll go find them. Maybe Susanna. <laughs> maybe, maybe plus this little child, who knows. I think Gollum is living in the lake. Yeah, 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 yeah we should be searching for some yeah, rooms. Yeah. <laughs>